second shots. About time something good happened for this basketball team. I know you said, well, we shouldn't have been in that position, but we were, and we found a way to come up with the victory. You're right. We, 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 we kind of make things hard for ourselves sometimes. But, but Malcolm was so proud of the kids. And just never giving up, just fighting the whole time. They really were working hard tonight. Everybody and, and our bigs were productive. You know, in order for us to be successful, our bigs have to be productive down there. They were setting good screens, and our guards were, were using it, and we were able to find the kickback, and our post were finishing at the rim instead of settling for, for jump shots. But, you know, it feels so good that something positive falls their way. You know, and it makes you feel really good about yourself, you know, to win something like this down the stretch when it hasn't gone your way over here. Talk a little bit about the huddle with 7.6 seconds to play. You've just watched Idaho come back and take a one-point lead. What was the message to the team, and what was the play? Well, we were actually trying to get Janae to push it up really fast and, and have a handoff to Keela Shelton for Keela to get down into the painted area. Uh, unfortunately, Janae failed. Lou was alert enough to be able to get the basketball and get it to Frazier, and Frazier was alert and knew the time on the clock, and that was so good that she knew. She just took, took the shot and took it confidently and knocked it down and before the game. She looked at me and she said, Coach, I just don't feel like I can miss. I'm going to be clutch and look what happens down the stretch. Now, she definitely was that. Uh, you know, this is a basketball team. We've struggled with turnovers this year. Had over 20 of them the last couple of games. Came into tonight, only nine turnovers tonight. And, and when you win a two-point ball game, uh, you know how big that was. It makes a difference when you can protect the basketball. And Malcolm, it's, it's so big when you can go down on your offensive possessions and you can value that possession and get a shot. And then also have an opportunity to get a second-chance opportunity in instead of losing the basketball and always on the back pedal running back in transition D. So that played a huge part in, in us being successful tonight is protecting the basketball and getting as many shots as possible at the rim. Uh, we get to the free throw line, we've been a little more aggressive the second half, but unfortunately we get there and we miss. Uh, these are things that we still have to work on and get better with because it do play a major part on the stretch for you. Louisiana Tech, I thought, did a pretty good job defending the perimeter tonight. Made it difficult on Idaho to hit the three-pointer. Now, the Vandals did have some success turning the corner and getting inside, uh, which they're just a difficult team to guard. It is. I mean, and it's quick. The action is very fast. Uh, you have to be very, very aware of their shooters and, and the handoffs that they have, and it's a handoff to a quick pick on ball. So our, we have to get better with our post players being in that protect mode. Uh, we protect down instead of over. And when we get better with it, Malcolm, we'll be a much better basketball team than our pick on balls. It's been a roller coaster season. Nobody knows it more than you do. Yes. I mean, can you even have imagined walking out of here with another one-point loss? How big of a momentum swing could this be for your basketball this team? This is big for those kids. This is big for those kids to see something go their way, something positive turn their way, especially when you tell them to, to hit hard and hit first and play hard and great things that happen for you. And as hard as they played tonight, there, yeah, there were some things that we can correct. That's in every game that you play. And then if it didn't, if it didn't go your way, you don't know what to feel like. But this could be probably the best momentum builder that could ever happen to them to see if they fought to the very end, got a shot, and went in for us, and finally we were on the other end of the stick. What was your words to John Newley when you shook hands? I mean, this is the second time this year that you know he is just sick walking off the court against Louisiana Tech. You know, I, I, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, he's a great man, a great coach. Uh, and, and it's hard, you know, when you're competing against each other and because you, 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 you've been on that end and you know what it feels like and you can only imagine what he's feeling like. Uh, but, but we always congratulate each other and just say we'll see you in Vegas and just wishing each other the best of luck down the stretch. And, you know, that's, that's the best thing. And even having a conversation with him beforehand, you know, just, just both of us encouraging each other to keep teaching, keep coaching, and great things happen. Well, congratulations.